So we have our team retreat here. We meet every eight weeks since we don't see each other every day. And the good thing is uh, I learned a lot today and that's actually good to see um, that I'm not involved in the operations anymore because the best things come from the crew. senior advisor with Blackboard, um, specialized in communication and collaboration. Yes. And the workshop I learned about is actually a communication tool workshop. How do you call it? Yes, it's a communication guideline workshop, basically. Um, so the idea is that whenever I talk with my clients in the very first meetings and they tell me about what their pain points are, what they struggle with at the moment, a lot of them mentioned, well, you know, we have quite a few tools at work, but none of us really knows which tool do I use for what kind of communication. So you mean this typical uh, people send emails all the time for everything or they have right. a meeting, so like this sticking to the one channel. Exactly. They say, okay, so we have mm -hmm. email, we have phones, we do video conferencing, but now we also use WhatsApp and WhatsApp came from like this personal, can we meet for a coffee to, yeah. can we dis t discuss certain project details and everyone's kind of struggling now, okay, how do we get some guidelines into this uh, jungle of tools mm -hmm. and how do we use them effectively? So um, based on this input, I created this workshop concept with a few colleagues where we guide the project team through um, yeah, through this whole um, process of creating a guideline and at the end of the workshop they know, okay, this is the tool that I use for exchanging personal information or this is the tool to um, assign tasks and this is exactly what the specifics or the parameters are around this. So two questions that I have is like, one, how big can a client be to like do that? And uh, what can you share with us, for example, like what we can learn? The size uh, of the company doesn't really matter. Um, what we try to do, the bigger the company, we go for like a basic set of rules where we say, okay, this could be like um, a common, common guidelines where mm -hmm. everyone can stick to, but then we tell them, but you need to go into your teams and adjust them to your specific team needs because every team in itself works a little bit different. So we have kind of like a common structure. This is um, applicable for all the, um, the employees, but then every team should adapt it to their own mm -hmm. needs. What examples can you give? Like, what can we learn? Well, we can learn. Well, first of all, um, I try to not focus too much on tools, but we start with explaining a little bit more about communication. What is communication actually? What happens if a sender sends a message through a certain channel to um, the receiver? And I think it's very vital that people understand the principle behind because only then they can actually apply this themselves for the range of tools mm -hmm. that they have, right? Because I guess one of our main goals is to enable people to just use tools the way they need to use them and not just tell them this is exactly how you need to do it. So if I use WhatsApp with my team all the time, which of, of course does not happen, um, let's assume I use WhatsApp <laughs> all the time with my team. Yes. Um, what rules could I apply? Well, WhatsApp is, Kind of a tricky channel because it's very close communication mm. so it's not transparent at all for either, for your other team members so whatsapp should really only be used for very personal conversations one or on maybe one-on-one one on one, exactly or maybe there is an emergency because whatsapp is usually the what number one tool on your phone that you check regularly so if i need something very urgently from one of my colleagues i probably send him in whatsapp message because I'm pretty sure that uh, he will read it immediately. So do we still recommend at Blackboard, like I know I did some review videos of Slack and Teams, is this still the number one thing we recommend then as a tool and like what do we apply here? Yes, exactly. I think this is um, where most of the communication and the collaborative sense should happen um, in that you have very project based communication, you can work together in documents, you can share important updates, um, you can connect it for instance to a task management system and you have everything related to one project or one 
uh, topic in one channel. Um, we always recommend to use, because like Slack or Teams, they always have like a, a channel, an open chat and a closed chat. We recommend mm. them try to have at least 70% of communication in this open channel, in this open communication, because transparency is super important. And if you start uh, talking to each other in private channels, you just have to like the right. extra work to spread it. And I just learned that we have almost 90% communication right. in public channels at Blackboard, which is Thank pretty God. good. Thank <laughs> God. But I know in the beginning, for example, it was difficult for some people to like to stick to that because it feels like it's more work, yes. not less work. Yeah, I'm also um, a lot of people, uh, a lot of time people think that, okay, now I will be um, bothered with lots of notification, lots of information, and how can I even manage to see through this? So we need to train them a lot about how to use notifications or how to filter what's important to you. Right. So even Blackboard, we have to like redo our communication. We know brought it to a concept so you can send Kata a lot of messages. I will link her email address or the WhatsApp message or the phone <laughs> number and then you can ask if yeah. um, you can have an agenda how this uh, would look like and now we actually have to go back. We already get signs from the others that we have to go back to the workshop and join. I hope that was helpful and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, turn on the notifications because that's a very important uh, channel here on YouTube where you can learn a lot of stuff. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bam! Yes. <laughs> Profis.